So this is 2017's uh, Prey. Um, it's kind of a like spiritual successor to the System Shock games. Um, for people who have not played those, uh, like me, it'll feel very <laughs> similar to something like Bioshock, uh, which also was a successor to yeah, the System Shock games. Yeah, it was, in, it was heavily inspired by that stuff. Um, mostly in the form of the like environmental storytelling, the like um, the the audio logs that you pick up and that are used to yeah, like fill yeah. in the backstory and all that stuff. Uh, so right here, I am in my like quarters, uh, which is about an hour and a half into the game. Um, so I have a I have a couple things. I've right here. I've got the the like recycler that you can use to break down items uh, into their like raw materials, which you can then in turn use to construct items. Um, and the, these sorts of like machine things are scattered throughout the environment. Um, but you generally won't find both of them together. Smashing glass is a good way to get around. Mm, apparently. Yeah, so I'm going to drop down here. Motherfucker, That's... I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so that thing that, that is I... so satisfying. Yeah, it is. I... <laughs> so the the glue cannon, it freezes enemies in in place and uh and you can then like either smash them or like shoot them with this or run away and hide. Yeah. Which is totally valid. Do you see where where those two mimics are? Yeah. So most of the mimics or most of the enemies in this game are mimics of sorts. Uh, they they like disguise. Oh uh, fuck no. you! All right, let's use some um, health. So they disguise themselves as items in the environment, and then try to scare the shit out of you. Pretty sure that's one right there. I'm Thanks gonna shoot it. Ah, oh, no, it's the wrong oh, one! Oh, <laughs> it was the chair. Fucker! Um, I'm playing on hard, uh, which is oh. why they're doing so much damage to me. Okay. Um, it's, like, usually that's kind of my default when I, when I start a new game. Uh, not because I think I'm super good, but I find that sometimes when I, when I play normal... Oh! Fuck. I did not even see that one at all. I find that sometimes when I play on normal, uh, the... The difficulty is just too low. Like, it feels like a cakewalk sometimes. Uh, so, like the other System Shock games, there are audio logs that you can find that, like, give you codes or, like, information about, uh, about, like, secret areas or stuff like that. Make that four. Someone dropped off another. Okay, I don't Seems see anything I don't think this else is a drill, of note I'm here. You the code. Let me just heal a little bit more. The escape pod right now. <coughs> so you've played a little bit of this too, right? Yeah, I played the the demo on PS4 because there was no PC demo. Yeah, um, and a lot of people took that to mean that the PC port was going to be fucking trash. Yeah. But so far, everything's been great. Like, it's running just fine, and I have most yeah. of the settings turned up. Uh, turned up to, like, high for everything except maybe shadows, which I've left at, uh, at medium, I think. And... Whoop. Oh, it's up there. So much like st 
stealth games, uh, there's a, like, awareness meter that pops up over enemies' heads. Did it just hide itself? Sometimes the tutorial pops up in yeah. like yeah, when, when like... I definitely don't need it. Oh, okay. Hello. Whoa. And sometimes when when you like walk into a room, there will be several of those mimics. And then they just run off and hide. Oh, you yeah. fuck. God damn it. I didn't see where it went. Is it that chair? Let's find out. Nope. I think it's that. Why not? Oh! Okay. Picking up chairs? <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is probably the alright time to show this. Uh, there are neuro mods. Uh, it's kind of your. They're kind of skill trees. They're kind of yeah. like skill trees. Um, and so you pick up the these neuro mods in the environment that basically just act as skill points. And then you can drop them into, into these slots. Um, so I just installed leverage, which allows me to. Oops. Throw throw objects with some force and like move some things. And I can actually use that to damage enemies. Uh, I'm just not gonna go over there right now. Just, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here to where I know that there's uh, a, a more unique enemy. So scattered, scattered throughout throughout the world, there are some some enemies that are that used to be people. Hmm. And through some some like narrative specific reason, they are now no longer people. They are mimics of sorts. Yeah, spooky salesman. I like that you can slide. That makes me feel real slick. Yeah. That was a that was like a destiny level slide <laughs> right there. Fuck. Oh, there he is. Oh. Ah, oh, fucker. Okay. So now I've got to repair my suit. And... Is it... Nope, oh, that's not it. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and install... Combat Focus right now. Let's do Combat Focus 2 as well. So it's gonna slow down time for me, oh, allowing me to get in close. Oh, yeah. Now it's doing the tutorial for combat focus. Well, because you just got it. Yeah. Like, I guess that, yeah. So I'm gonna slow down time. Pretty dope, right? <laughs> that was pretty fucking slick. <laughs> Her. Um, so you, uh, whatever. Uh, you had played this on, you had played the demo on the PS4. Yes. Uh, and how did you feel about the, the aiming? It kind of stunk. Because, because <laughs> PS4 controller. Yeah, was, was there not really any sort of, like, uh, like aim assist? No. 
Really? Not that I noticed. That no. sounds real shitty. So, uh, I, I just completed an objective for, uh, for an audio log that I had picked up earlier. The audio log said that this person's office contained neuromods, stolen neuromods. Mm. So, the cool thing about this game is that, like, your, your character progression is not locked behind, like, leveling up, per se. Mm. So, instead, you just find the neuromods, and sometimes they're in bundles of, like, four... So now I've got an additional four yeah. neuromods that I can install. Um, and I think I'm just going to go back here. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, there are, there are various ways of getting around the environment. Like, normally you wouldn't think of doing this, but you could totally use this to run over here and, like, circumvent a lot of shit. Yeah. Uh, and that's littered everywhere. Like, there are ducks that you can go through. Uh, and in that sense, it's kind of like Deus Ex. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah. But I've enjoyed this a lot more than I enjoyed the last Deus Ex game. Uh, and I think that this is a good place to stop. Uh, I think that you should go in blind with this game as much as you can. Yeah, the, the, the story is really good from what I saw so yeah. far. I'm, it's I'm only about two hours in, and it's really intriguing so far. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, check it out. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.